fly. One minute to kill it. To win 100 pounds. Man versus fly. Well, welcome to the Fly Dome, where I'm joined by man legend himself, Pat Cowell. Yeah, g'day, mate. It's good to be back. And look, we've had some terrific bouts, but I've just got a feeling about this one. Now, we've got a referee in here, Pat. What can that mean? Oh, it means someone needs refereeing, mate. Either that or we've opened up a Foot Locker franchise here. Coming in now is our contestant for the day. Well, he's a wrestler. <laughs> well, we are in for a bit of a good time then, my... Oh, oh. Oh, look at that. I love it when they flex the pecs. It's something I can do and not many of us can. Oh, there, I've just disappeared inside myself. His name's Party Marty Skull, a professional wrestler, Pat. This should be great. And he's oiled up a treat too. Looks like he ran into the Exxon Valdez. He is 180 pounds of lean meat waiting for this. 13.2 milligrams of fly. Now, for flies, Pat, that's quite big. It's reasonable, but, you know, it's a trade-off between speed, weight, and agility. Everyone knows that. Fraction of the weights, but I should think he'll give him a, a run for his money. The fly's going to have his work cut out. He's got someone who is professional at what they do, not just a hobbyist. This bloke is a professional fighter, sort of. Fly, you stand no chance whatsoever. Tell us a little bit about his technique today, Pat. He can only use wrestling moves, and when he gets the fly, he has to pin it the requisite three seconds. As we expect, uh, very aggressive from the outset, talking to the fly and talking hard. There's a lot of show business here, but he's a wrestler, which, look, everybody knows is a joke sport. It's not serious, but look, now we're on man versus fly. This is a serious sport, and let's see how he goes with a bit of real pressure where it is a little choreographed. That fly looks anxious to get out there. This could be an incredible bout, Pat. He's got his speedos on there, as we call them in Australia, the budgie smugglers, the banana hammocks, and uh, he seems to be moving around a treat. Oh, look at that. Great, great dive onto the uh, fly there. Fly just hanging around there. Oh, great roundhouse kick. Uh, that's a hammer kick, mate. Hammer kick, well corrected there, Pat. The fly is down. Uh, hang on, he's left. The fly is down and stunned. He's left. <laughs> he's got a bit of furniture. Bang! The fly is still moving. Bang! Fly is not moving. He's not only got to kill it, but pin it for three seconds. He's dropped it around his neck. Bang! Suplex on the back, rolled over. One, two, three, and you're out! Fantastic, with 10 seconds to spare. Well, I'm not sure of the legality of using the chair, but uh, all spare in love for and fly sweating, my friend. You are nobody! I'm the silver champion, baby! Well, there's the misnamed roundhouse kick that I was talking about earlier. In with the uh, suplex, is that the suplex, that one there? No, no it's not. You can almost see the shimmering of oil splattering all over the floor as he hits the deck. And here's the kill. There's no getting away from that chair, is there, Pat? Well, there is, but not when you're already stunned. <laughs> it just goes up to the reference. Does that referee even, even know what day it is? Look at him. He's just, <laughs> he thinks he's at the bowling. Oh, he's a little bit hot, Pat. That is great to watch. Someone who knows something about show business, knows something about sport, and knows something about how to kill a fly. That's what we're talking about here. It's fantastic. <laughs>